Hi, my name is Monterey, and we're taking the month of August to talk about how it all started with God's creation. God made everything and everyone. Yep, you heard that right. God made everyone, which means He made you and me. God also wants us to enjoy this world that He created. Our August memory verse is Genesis 1:31. God saw everything He had made and it was very good. This Bible verse reminds us that everything God made is good. Now, let's see what my friend has to say, and I'll see you a little later after the Bible story. Bye. Hey friends, let's praise and worship God together. Then he wrote a true story from the Bible about God's creation. On days six and seven, God made the land, animals, and people, and then he rested. just getting my hammock ready. You can take the best rest in a hammock. Oh, that reminds me. There is some rest time in today's story. <laughs> but before we rest, we have a big story to finish telling. Do you want to help me build it? Aha, great. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. But first, 
we need to remember a few things about our true story from the Bible about how God made everything. On day one, God made light and dark. And on day two, God made the sky above the water. Then on day three, God made the land, plants, and sea. And on day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. And then on day five, God made the fish and the birds. The earth was full of so many beautiful, wonderful things. God saw everything he had made, and it was good. Say, it's good. Ready? It's good! Que bueno! But do you think God was finished yet? <laughs> no way! God made even more! On day six, God said, let the land produce every kind of animal. Oh, wow! Do you know what that means? It means God made so many different wonderful animals to live on the land. Oh, let's look at this one right here. What is this? <laughs> yes, it's a cat. They have such soft fur. Now, what does a cat say? <laughs> right. Let's all meow like a cat. Ready? Meow. Meow. <laughs> Good. Let's look at another animal God made. Oh, this one you can ride on. What is it? <laughs> it's a horse. Now, what does a horse say? <laughs> all right, let's all like a horse. Ready? <laughs> God made horses. But even after making all these wonderful animals, God still was not finished. God wanted to make the very most important thing in all of creation. Hmm, do you know what it is? Oh, I think I heard someone say it. God made people. God made the very first man. His name was Adam. Everyone say, hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. <laughs> and God made the very first woman. Her name was Eve. Everyone say, hi, Eve. Hi, Eve. People are the most special thing God made because God made people to know him. God made every person so special. Point to your eyes. God made people with blue eyes and brown eyes and green eyes and so many different beautiful colors. Now touch your head. God made people with all kinds of hair straight and curly and short and long and no hair at all. And God made people who are good at all kinds of different things, like uh, running fast or making yummy food or telling awesome stories. Huh? <laughs> God made people. When God made people on day six, the whole world was complete. God looked at all he had made. And this time, God saw that it was very good. Can you say, it's very good? Ready? It's very good. God made the whole world. And then on day seven, what do you think God did? <laughs> God rested from all his work. Let's all take a deep breath. And look at all of the things that God made. Wow, it is very good. <laughs> now let's remember what we learned today. On day six, God made all of the land animals and God made people. Only God can do that. God is so creative and powerful. God made everything. Then on day seven, God rested from his work. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. 
Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. Now, I'm off for a rest in my hammock. <sighs> Adios. God made everything. He made you. He made me. He made your favorite animal. He made the whole world and everything he made is good. Before we go, let's pray or simply put it, let's talk to God and God is always listening. When we pray, I want you to remember how to pray, to keep it simple, keep it real and keep it up. Now let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much in creating the world that we get to live in every day. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, don't forget to come back next week as we learn more from the Bible. See you later. Bye. Happy August, families. This month, we want our preschoolers to know that God made everything. Since God made so many things, we will stack it up this month, all of it, from day one creation through day seven of rest. So let's prepare for a lot of stacking about God made everything. We want our preschoolers to hear over and over that God made everything. We invite you to check out this week's family activity guide. You can download it from our Facebook parent group, our website, or follow it from your phone. Inside the guide, you will find amazing activities that make it easy to keep growing in God's word with your preschooler. It tells you what to say. It guides you through a simple and fun activity. It guides you through prayer and so much more. Decide when and how you want to use these great tools at your fingertips, and you will be amazed at how much your preschooler is learning right at home with you. We have one amazing in-person Sunday service for kids. If your family is interested in attending in-person service, please join us on either our Birmingham, Alabama, or Columbus, Georgia campus. For more details about the in-person service on the campus you attend, special days when we worship together in the main sanctuary as a family, and much more, please visit faithchapel.net forward slash family for more details on what's going on at our church. Enjoy your day.